Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of Cisco News. As always, thank you guys for the great response, and I promise you today's episode will be shorter than the last two episodes where I've said they were going to be shorter. They ended up being over 10 minutes long. Let's hop into our first story today, though, all about VACnet, and apparently, as of right now, we do have not much information at all to share with all of you. Of course, Valve has yet to make a public post about this, and, and of course, we've seen so far the past two days a lot of reports out there of many more accounts, both innocents as well as, you know, guilty people of cheating, have been being banned left and right, although when you check the VAC ban page the VAC wave page, there really seems to be no particular pattern and no big increase or spike of those actual VAC bands. So as of right now, again, we're left informationless. All we have to go off right now is, of course, uh, those individual cheating reports, people saying they're being banned, and, and no one really sure if it's going to be VACnet, if it's an Overwatch ban. No one really possibly believing it is the VACnet update, although we do think it's a subtle VACnet change that is actually causing all of these bans. And also right now, if you guys have been uh, banned, whether you're innocent or guilty, please, there's now a survey down below to get you guys' response as a lot of different questions in the, in the survey down below. A lot of great responses so far. We're finding out, you know, it, are these past accounts connected to, to the same accounts? If you have a past account, are you going to be a banned no matter what? It does seem, as of right now in CSGO, if you cheated at any point in CSGO, and we could have a long discussion about innocent people. Now, it, it, the real question here is, are you innocent if you have ever cheated in CSGO? There are many cheaters out there that probably cheat no more, but a lot of cheaters do. Obviously, if you cheat once, you're probably going to cheat in the future again. The real question is, are you innocent if you've ever cheated in your past in CSGO because it does seem as of right now at this point in time that VACnet or whatever is actually banning these accounts it does seem to take into effect all of your past and your previous instances of cheating so if you ever cheated in CSGO you are now at this point in time more likely to be banned than any other time in CSGO a lot of accounts out there even if you make a fresh account are going to be tied to previous accounts and again informationless as we go on no one knows exactly how Valve is actually tracking those fresh accounts and connecting them to previous accounts of course it could be IP addresses but many people know how to hide those as well so no one knows the exact details as to how valve tracks the accounts but it does seem for the time being if you have ever cheated in CSGO now is a pretty pretty bad time to be playing because you could be banned out of nowhere so I'll link the survey down below for all of you and again some very cool information coming out of the survey so far although we have less than 500 responses at the point of me recording this episode I hope you guys can fill out the survey honestly as we found some very cool things so far a majority of people have actually been cheating uh, in the past 48 hours as well as also in the past month it's kind of shocking to see just how many cheaters are in the game of CSGO although it is a bit sad it's still a nice statistic to actually track and on top of that we also have our most common cheats out there the the two leading the way so far have been wall hacks or chams if you guys don't know what chams are it's pretty much when a CSGO character becomes a very distinct color usually a neon orange or a neon green so you can obviously use those wall hacks to your benefit as well as some other low FOV or low field of view hacks are the most common so far being banned. So as of right now, all we know, and again, going forward, we are pretty much informationless until Valve tells us exactly what VACnet is doing or what is going on right now. It does seem boatloads of cheaters are being banned, as well as innocent people out there. My comment section has been flooded with people saying, Jake, I didn't cheat. Uh, I know a lot of you guys maybe not be telling the truth. It does seem for now, if you cheated at any point in your CSGO career, those accounts are linked, and they're leading to also new bans. And also updates on yesterday's story about space soldiers. I know many of us thought it was going to be the salary issue that actually caused space soldiers to want to lead that organization. I also do want to clarify we still have no idea what organization might be trying to buy these players out. Although their contracts do specify no buyouts, a lot of you guys were also confused by that. Yes, apparently their contracts they agreed to had no buyout specifications, but that does still mean they can be bought out. The organization can of course agree to some kind of buyout and that probably does mean it's going to be even more extensive lump sum than before. But again, these players still can be sold off. It's just completely up to the organization as to what price that now can be. Also on top of that, according to Richard Lewis, as well as Nell who found the clip of that. I'll shout out to him and link both their Twitters down below. According to Richard Lewis, current sources are saying that apparently again of that current Space Soldiers or ex-Space Soldiers roster was removed from that team unannounced as of right now. Nagin was apparently removed from that roster without confronting the other players. So apparently upper Space Soldiers management tried to remove or actually successfully removed Nagin from the starting roster without even telling the other players about that. So you can imagine what kind of controversy that is. No one knows as to who his replacement would be if they continue to play. It does seem right now now these guys are not willing to play for Space Soldiers any longer, so we'll wait for updates in the future as to what is going to happen with the Space Soldiers organization. And remember, these guys have an ESL Pro League spot as well as, more importantly, a major spot for Face It Major in September. So whatever's going to be finalized probably will be done sometime soon in the future. No one knows that the roster is going to officially change if Nagin's going to come back or if he's going to leave the organization. We'll wait for updates soon on the situation. Now, very lastly as well, we do have big changes and also very disappointing changes. We talked about this a few days ago. I was also worried about it. I'm sure many of you guys were when Mo and Day's first 
first announced their stream team to compete next season at Mountain Dew League. We thought it was, of course, a bit a bit of an issue that maybe these guys wouldn't have the dedication required. I'm a bit surprised of the person who actually left. That was Mo TV who announced on Twitter this morning he'll be removing himself from the subtle roster. Apparently, Mountain Dew League would just be too hard of a commitment for him. So very unfortunately enough, guys. But again, I kind of had some cool news as well. We do have Summit 1G replacing Mo TV on that roster and returning to, I guess you could say, competitive CSGO. And he will be, as far as we know, in Mountain Dew League next season alongside Days, No One, and Ocean. And an A2Z rounding out that roster as we expected. Mo TV announced it a couple days ago. That will be the five-man roster going forward. So Summit 1G is back fighting alongside Days, which is a team I really not see coming. So Mountain Dew League next season is going to be very exciting. But of course, we still have some time before the season actually starts. So hopefully no more roster changes for the former team settle and now the new one as well going forward. Mo TV is gone. Apparently going to be too hard to compete. So we'll see how this roster does compete. Hope you guys all enjoyed the short episode of this news today and I will see you hopefully tomorrow with some more news. I'm still working on the full details of of course the Chinese situation, the corruption over there with Fierce Tigers and Vici Gaming. A lot of great updates on that story. Expect the full story sometime soon and some more CSGO news even sooner. So hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all tomorrow. As always my name is Jake Mike Q and I'll see you all then. Goodbye guys. And girl.